M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. Quick one here on loading this signal meter. So if you look here at the H3 model, we've got a nice signal meter here. Big thanks to Marcus on the TID radio hacking page here on Facebook. So the bin file is here, look, just on the left, it ends 606 version 4 dot bin. So we're going to load that using the TID station that Marcus has provided for us. I've made several videos loading that but if you want to download TID station on the TID hacking page also go to the files section okay files scroll down until you see the TID station zip here just run it and the one I'm using is version 37 and when you run it you'll get this window here and you of course you need to plug in your cable and select your com when using it so let's get on and load this signal meter now you can see I've already loaded it but we'll load it again so in the TID station if you want to connect and inter interact with the radio what you would normally do is click here where it says offline so I will show you so with the cable connected we'll right click on my windows squares and go to device manager and we'll double click where it says ports and you can see I'm USB serial CH340 COM37. Okay, then back over to the TOD station. Click here where it says offline. Select 37. Brief pause. And then it all comes to life. And we can now control the radio, as you can see. Up and down. You've got A and B. And you've got all these settings here. Dual watch and so on. And then the backlight's only on for 15 seconds, so we'll, we'll click that and we'll go to continuous. And now we now have our backlight and you can go across at the top here, memories, read and write, it's all kinds of stuff. But anyway, we're here to load the firmware for the signal meter, so turn off the radio. Okay, the radio is now off. Make sure you are offline. Then go to the top and select the lightning bolt at the top let's move this down a bit so you can see that they are lightning bolt here browse and select the correct firmware which ends 6v4 okay 606v4 double click now in this box here that says select just make sure that's unticked because i find that if it's ticked you get this weird green screen so and then the radio's off click start and then with the radio off, hold your finger on the PTT and turn on. And this will now load. You can take your finger off the PTT now. And we will have our signal meter. Ta-da! There you are, it's come on. And when someone speaks, let's just type frequency. So if we go back to the very first one here, just here. Type in 434550, five, enter. Should get us onto Hubnet if someone is chatting. We'll get the backlight back on as well. Sounding good, looking good. Of course, there's many more modifications. There's the logo modification. There's upper sideband modification. We've got the mic gain modification. Go to the sort of file section here, TID Radio H3, and look at all these mic gain. Just look down all the different bin files that have been loaded here, and then just even if you just scroll down the Facebook group, you'll see individual users have come up with their own modification tweaks as well. Okay, very friendly community. There's some some of the boot up logos that are in black and white that's Marcus doing it there this one here testing the upper sideband and if you need help check it out big thanks to Mark and, and, and you know join the community enjoying these radios they're inexpensive they're six band radios they work very well in my opinion on air band even using the stock antenna uh, they're a nice size the battery lasts forever uh, it's a nice chunky battery and you can bluetooth program using the app called od master 
it looks like this so and it's via Bluetooth. Bluetooth. I made I separate yeah, videos on that. And you can actually yeah, Bluetooth you using your, your PC. Let's see if I can get it to work. Blue scanning for Bluetooth. You hold down this to get the, the Bluetooth to turn on, which I think is already on. Oh, there it is there. Hold it down, it came on. It finds it, pair. Then you select your model. See the way it's paired here? And of course it works on your phone with an app. So then we got to select the actual radio. These are all my previous, you know, readings. It does save it. And when you log into the app, it shows everything to you. We'll read the radio there. Oh, incorrect model, but I think we'll do that another time. That's enough for this video. Bye for now, 7-3.